Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Wind Lacquer. If you're new, hi, my name is Caroline and I love to talk about nail polish. You'll also find the occasional video here on either jewelry or makeup and you'll oftentimes hear my cats in the background because they like to chat. In today's video, we are doing another collaboration. This is our end of year top 20 for 2022. Make sure to check out the list down below for the list of other participants and their videos. It's always really exciting to see what other people have chosen for their year. For mine, I basically included anything that I wore for the year, so it's not going to just include polishes that were released in 2022, but any that I wore during that time that really made an impression on me. So we've got 20 polishes to take a look at, and I do have a couple of honorable mentions that didn't quite make it to my top 20. We're going to start over here with an Orly. This one came out, I believe, in their spring collection for 2022, and this one is called Blue Iris. This one I really enjoyed. I think I'm going to be saying that for every single polish, but this polish and this collection in general from Orly was the reason why I ended up resubscribing for the Color Pass box. Previously, I had been hemming and hawing about whether or not I was going to do it, and I still need to do a wrap up of my two years that I've been a subscriber for that box, but when I saw these swatched on someone else's channel, I knew I had to subscribe because I wanted that collection. <laughs> and this is one of the ones that I really, really liked. The color on this is kind of a dusty periwinkle blue. In some lights, it's going to be bluer. In some lights, it's going to be more purple. On camera, I feel it's pulling more of a dusty blue, but in person, I'm definitely seeing that purple pop up. So it's one of those colors that you know I gotta love. My regulars will know that anything in this periwinkle purple blurple family is right up my alley. It's definitely a favorite. The formula on this was a nice two coater as well, and I really enjoyed wearing this. So off to a start with a light pastel from Orly. That one was Blue Iris. Next up is one from Girly Bits. This is a purple and it is called Sugar Shack. This one came out in their concert series and this is a beautiful polish right up my alley. This type of polish is something that I collect quite often because it just speaks to me. You have this blue leaning purple base loaded with shifting shimmer and hollow in here. This is stunning. So that base does have that shifty quality to it. It's a, is it a blue, is it a purple sort of a color? And of course, as you've heard already, I love it when colors do that. And this particular one has a very strong shifting shimmer that really glows on the nail. You've got this red to green to gold. I think you can see that green starting to pop up there at the edge of the bottle but it pops so nicely against this base. And then you have the scattered holographic flakies, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know is one of my favorite components. Bees Knees Lacquer has an entire family of them and I absolutely adore them. I love how the finish ends up looking on the nails. Just beautiful. So this one I was really happy to see from Girly Bits and the color is just beautiful. So that one was Girly Bits Sugar Shack. Now this next one I'm going to show immediately next to Sugar Shack because they are kind of similar. This one is Different Dimensions Antisocial Butterfly. Now this one came out in Polish Pickup for March 2021 and I had considered if I needed both on my top 20 but both of them were ones that I really really enjoyed and they are different from each other. It's not like they're dupes or anything but they are both purple polishes with a strong shimmer and some scattered holographic flakies. As you can see, the size of the flakies is different. In Antisocial Butterfly, they're actually larger. Also, as you can see, the shifts in those shimmers are different. You have more of a red toned pink that pops up in Sugar Shack, whereas Antisocial Butterfly leans a bit more orange. I don't know if that's the base or if it's a different shimmer altogether, but you do get that shift to green and gold. So another really, really beautiful one. Again, these flakies, you could put them in anything and I would love it. This is another one that has a beautiful shift as you saw compared to Sugar Shack. There's that beautiful green popping up and that orange to red shift at the face. I mean, look at how strong that is. So this is another one that I just absolutely adored on the nails, as are all of these. I feel like I'm just gonna be repeating myself, but that was Different Dimensions Antisocial Butterfly. The next one is from Garden Path Lacquers, and this is Those Blue Memories. And this is one of those formulas from her that I absolutely cannot get enough of. You have a basically sheer or very, very lightly tinted base. What you're mostly getting the color from 
are these micro glitters in this one it is a beautiful shade of blue then you've got a shimmer particle that you can see adding a really beautiful contrasting shimmer this one is another red to green to gold and then you have flakies so the combination of all of this on the nail really plays with the eye because you have so many different components to look at you've got the blue speckled effect adding this really neat look to the nail the shifts in the shimmer and then the flakies I love this kind of formulation from her. I have quite a few in this formula and all of them are fantastic. So definitely one that I'm glad I have in my collection. So that one was Garden Path Lacquers, Those Blue Memories. Next up is one that could probably make it into my top five. This one is Jen and Berry's Prismatic Spray and Pray. This one did come out in 2022 for the Polished Gamers box in June. And this one, you guys, this one is amazing so you have this silver holographic base and then look at all these fun micro glitters they are in hollow you have them in fuchsia blue i think green i'm not actually too sure about all of the different colors then there's a shifting shimmer so you see that sort of a wash of a light red against the face of the bottle that's that shimmer component so you have hollow, hollow glitter, and a shifting shimmer. This made for such a fun polish to wear on the nails. Again, you have so many different rainbows in all of the different components. I didn't want to take this one off when I was wearing it. I think I wore it for five to seven days, which is a long time in my book. So one of my probably top fives of the year, this one is Jen and Berry's Prismatic Spray and Pray. The next one is from All Mixed Up Lacquers. This one is called Slushy Wasted. This one came out for the Christmas in July doorbuster in 2021. And this one I loved on. It is a sheerish base that's sort of this off-white. And then it is loaded with metallic holographic flakies that are more like shards. They're a thicker consistency than the flakies. Then you have a beautiful shimmer in there. This one was so adorable on. It layered up nicely. You got all of the flakies and the shimmer on your nails. It was just so fun and delicate. For being such a soft, light color, you still got a load of rainbows because you do have the shifting shimmer and the hollow from those shards. So lots of color. This one, like I said, was just so fun to wear. Really, really enjoyed this. I think even more than I thought I would when I got it. So that one was all mixed up lacquers, slushy wasted. Next up is our second one from Orly. This one is called Kaleidoscope Eyes. This one came out in their summer collections last year in 2021, and I really enjoyed this one this year. I actually ended up wearing it a couple of times in different manis, and I enjoyed it every single time. The formulation on this was really nice. It was a good two-coater, and I love this kind of color. It's a bit on the soft side, but it has still got that vibrancy to it, and it is a really beautiful, like, orchid lean purple pink it's just adorable I also think this color is pretty versatile I really like it for spring but I think it makes for an equally beautiful polish for summer so that one was Orly's kaleidoscope eyes next up I had to include this amazing hollow from China glaze this one is BFF and this one did come out quite a number of years ago but I only recently got it in my collection and these are amazing <laughs> the holographic formula on these is out of this world it is up there with some of the best formulas that i've seen from indie polishes which is really saying something because indie brands really know how to pack in hollow but this one was stunning it was very linear on the nail and i love this tone of color it's this sort of a deep raspberry shade and this was just stunning i cannot say enough about this the entire collection of these that i ended up grabbing from i think it was it might have been polish pick but all of them were really really impressive so that one was china glazes bff the next one is one that i really really enjoyed again i feel like i'm repeating myself on everyone but this is from paint it pretty polish and it is take me away this one came out in polish pickup for march 2022 when it was maker's choice and this one was dazzling this one has a beautiful squishy purple base and then the star of the show is that intense shimmer in here it shifts from red to green to gold and it looks gorgeous on the nail this type of color is really a favorite. For some reason, I really, really enjoy purples when they've got that deep 
rich red component to them. Doesn't matter if it's glitter or shimmer or flaky. They just really speak to my eyes. I really, really like them. So this one looked gorgeous on. The shifts in that shimmer were really beautiful. So that one was Paint It Pretty Polish, Take Me Away. Next up is one that really surprised me at how much I enjoyed it. This is one that could make it easily into my top five as well. This is from Bees Knees Lacquers, The Loose Remembers. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this one came out in the Only a Monster collection. And you guys, this is a purple leaning pink, so I figured I would like it. But on, I loved this absolutely loved this. The combination of this color with the holographic flakies, which I've already mentioned a few times, is one of my favorite components. And then on top of it, that intense shimmer, that glow from that shimmer is just mind-boggling. It is so intense. It made this color shift to so many different shades when it was on the nails. Depending on your lighting, you would see the different tones of that shift come out, and then it would play with the base color. So sometimes it was purpler, sometimes it was pinker, sometimes it was almost red leaning. So it was this really interesting rainbow on the nails. One of my top picks for for all time, probably. <laughs> I love this one. I even have a backup of this. So that was Bees Knees Lacquers, The Loose Remembers. Next up is another one that really surprised me at how much I enjoyed it. It is from KB Shimmers. Totally stoked. So the reason this is a surprise that it's in my top picks for the year is this is a red polish. Red is not one of those colors that I'm usually drawn to, and it's very difficult for me to really want to wear them. I think I have worn a couple this year, and that's way more than I've worn in past years. So uh, I'm making progress, but this one really blew me away. This is one of those polishes that has a component of a holographic flaky in it. And the neat thing about this one is it's not a straight up traditional bright red. It has this sort of a almost dusty quality to it while still being pretty bright. You then have the components in it that are very shifty. So you've got shifts of gold, red, and green in this base that leans a bit pinker. If I'm remembering correctly, I think this is one that's also kind of a bit on the purpley side in the base. And then a lot of the red is coming through in that shimmer. So all of those things come together to make a really stunning polish that has a lot of different rainbows in it and a lot of different shifts. And because it's not a red base with a red shimmer and a red this, that, and the other thing, you have all of these other colors that really play with the eye and shift beautifully. So I was really happy that I ended up getting this because I have been a little iffy because it was a red. So glad that I ended up getting this one. This is KB Shimmers, totally stoked. And I believe that was another polish pickup. Next up is one from Lumming Lacquer. This is Afraid of the Dark. This was a polish pickup from September 2022, and it is a magnetic. This is a polish that I knew I would like, but I loved this one on. In the bottle, you're dealing with a berry-leaning purple, and then you have some holographic components in there and that metallic sheen in that very strong shimmer. But what I found really neat on the nail is that base actually turns a bit of like a red leaning purple. And then you're left with that dazzling, warm, fiery, magnetic particle that dances beautifully on the nail. So what my nails basically looked like was fire. It was amazing. So love this one on even more than I thought I would. I mean, look at that fiery glow. It's just beautiful. So another one that really impressed me, that was Lemming Lacquer's Afraid of the Dark. Next up is another one that really surprised me at how much I enjoyed it. This one is from Wildflower Lacquer and it is Slow Burn. It's the namesake from the Slow Burn collection. And this one I was a bit iffy on because it's technically a brown polish. And brown is one of those colors that I really prefer when it leans red or orange. And I wasn't too sure how this would end up looking, but I ended up buying the entire collection of this and I'm glad that I did because as you can see, this one made it to my top 20s of the year. This one again has that component that I absolutely adore in those scattered holographic flakies. The base on this one is really intriguing. It is a brown polish, but there's red in it, there's purple, plus you have all of the other components in that stunningly strong shimmer. 
So there's a lot going on. It's not just a chocolate brown. There's so much else going on in it. And it is so beautiful on the nail. That shifting shimmer is dazzling. I think you can see a theme too in the type of shimmer that I really enjoy. You've got that red to green to gold again. And again with those flakies. This one was just absolutely gorgeous on the nail. Definitely happy that I took a chance and got it. So that was Wildflower Lacquer's Slow Burn. Next up is one from Kathleen and Co. This one is Ghost Manor. This one came out last year for Polish Pickup in September, and this one just blew me away when I put it on. You've got this amazing rich purple base and then a super strong, almost metallic shimmer in there that shifts from red to green to gold. You also have a scattering of holographic flakies in there, so again, sticking with that theme of polishes that I absolutely enjoy, but this one was fire on the nails. So you have that really rich purple base, but then you see this intense strong shimmer on there and it is definitely visible on the nail. This one was fire. Absolutely gorgeous. This one was not a surprise that I liked it because it is a purple and I am a purple fan, but that fire was just ultra impressive on the nails. Just really gorgeous. So that one was Kathleen and Co. Ghost Manor. Next up, we have another Kathleen & Co. This one is called Oh, It's On. This one came out in Polish Pickup for April 2022, and this one has a reflective glitter component in it. This is another one of those polishes that just was very, very fun to wear. You again have this really rich purple base. You have a shimmer that shifts from like an aqua green to a deeper blue. There's that blue sort of peeking out in the edges. What's interesting is I'm seeing that all over the face of the bottle. Then you have a scattering of some holographic flakies in here and a reflective glitter. So lots going on. This one looks really, really fun in different lighting. I think you can see it right there at the edge. The reflective glitter in here is purple. So really fun combination and very unique to my collection as well. And another one that I really enjoyed on. So that was Kathleen & Co. Oh, it's on. Next up is a Bees Knees Lacquer. This one is called I'm a Hamster in a Wheel. This one was from the Shades of Cyan Group Custom. And this one was another one <laughs> that was just amazing on the nails. I figured I would like it because it combines a lot of the things that I enjoy, but this one was just so fun to wear. You have a mix of blue and purple in here, again with the scattered holographic flakies, and the shifts in this shimmer is really gorgeous. You've got a strong like pinky purple at the face, which I think on camera you're seeing as a blue. This has shifts to green and gold there at the edges, which I think that now you're seeing that pink. So really gorgeous. There's also a shift to like a lighter blue, all in this really gorgeous base, which is actually bluer than it looks in the bottle because there's so much else that your eyes are seeing in the shimmer. But there's that beautiful shade of blue. So definitely another one that combines a lot of my favorite things. That was Bees Knees Lacquer. I'm a hamster in a wheel. Next up is another magnetic, this time from Wildflower Lacquer, and this one is Arctic Passage. This one came out in Polish Pickup for May 2022. As with a lot of polishes from Wildflower Lacquer, this one was a pretty big hit that month, and I'm glad that I ended up grabbing a bottle. This one is a really beautiful aqua blue. Then you have this strong flash there in that pink larger particled shimmer that shifts to a purple and an orange. I think you can see that orange peeking up there. Then you have the magnetic pigment in this and what's neat is when it's unmagnetized it adds this sort of a speckled look to the polish. Then when you magnetize it it deepens up that base into a really beautiful darker shade and then you're left with that magnetic pull this is a really, really neat polish, and again, unique to my collection. I love the strong shimmer in here. So that one was Wildflower Lacquers Arctic Passage. Next up is another magnetic. This one is from BCB Lacquers, and this is Where is My Lisa Frank Notebook? This one came out in an advent calendar that I got for summer. This was day eight, 
It is part of the collaboration for the indie mixtapes between BCB Lacquer and Swamp Gloss, and it is one of the advents that I can wholeheartedly recommend keeping an eye on because I've gotten two now, one for summer and one for winter, and I have had a blast with both. So this one was one of the highlights from that box for summer. And this one has a really unique combination of components. You have that like dusty eggplant base with some shifting shimmer and some multi-chrome flakies. So let's see how this one magnetizes. When you put the magnet on it, you pull up a beautiful bright fuchsia into the magnetic line that has shifts to gold and orange. And then you're left with that beautiful shimmer that shifts to a deep emerald. And then on top of that, you have those multi-chrome flakies. So lots going on in this. It was very fun on the nails. And of course, as is usual for the indie mixtapes, they take you back with some nostalgia with Lisa Frank. So that one was BCB Lacquer's Where Is My Lisa Frank Notebook. Next up, we have a holo from Holo Taco. This one is Coral Chaser. Now this one did come out a few years ago, but it was one of the ones that I wore this year and really, really enjoyed it. No surprise here, the holographic formula from Holo Taco is amazing. This one has such beautiful linear flair to it. You've got this amazing rainbow, and I really like this tone in this formula. It's sort of an unusual dusty orange coral. And then when the rainbows of the holographic play with it, you get this interesting mix of all of the different colors of the rainbow, even a deep purple. So gorgeous, gorgeous color. This was another one that really impressed me on the nails and made me want to go get more hollows from this brand because I don't actually have that many from this brand, but that was Hollow Tacos Coral Chaser. And then lastly, we are ending on a cream formula from China Glaze. This one is Spice to Meet You. This one came out, I want to say, one or two fall collections ago from China Glaze, and I hadn't grabbed it. I ended up finding this at Dollar Tree, though, earlier this year, and wore it for fall, and absolutely adored it. I don't think that was any surprise, because <laughs> it's a perfect shade for fall. It is this beautiful, like, deep, rich, sweet potato color, and the formula on this was beautiful in two coats. This is the type of color that really got me into oranges in the first place, sort of a brighter version of those really deep terracotta shades that I really enjoyed a few years ago and still do today. So a beautiful fall shade there from China Glaze. That one was Spice to Meet You. So now we have two runners up or honorable mentions. The first one is from Vapid Lacquer and this one is called Wild Horses. This one is a very unusual shade and I really enjoyed this one on. You've got this dusty orange rust base and then look at that shimmer in here. This is very unusual in this base. You have purples, pinks, and blues popping up, some green at certain angles very unusual polish and I really enjoyed this one on. I've been keeping my eyes on this kind of polishes from different brands and have really enjoyed a lot of these unusual combinations lately so I was happy to end up getting this one from Vapid. That one was Wild Horses. And our second in the runners up section is from Swamp Gloss and this is Dragonborn. This one came out in the Polished Gamers box for April 2021. There was actually a couple of polishes from Swamp Gloss in this kind of formula that I could have easily included because I did wear at least two of them in 2022, but I decided to go with this one in my runners up. This one is a beautiful purple and you've got these light blue matte glitters and iridescent flakies. So this is a gorgeous combination. She does these so, so well. Mixing a jelly base with some matte glitters and some flakies seems to be sort of a trademark and I absolutely love them. These little glitters look adorable on the nail. And of course, since it's a purple, you know I gotta love it. And those iridescent flakies in here are just beautiful. So that was another one that I really enjoyed for 2022. That was Swamp Glosses Dragonborn. So there you have it. That was my top 20 for 2022. I cannot believe the year is over already. <laughs> Somehow it ended up just flying by. Well, like I said, definitely make sure to go to the list down below for all of the other participants in this collaboration. Let me know down below which polishes were your top picks for 2022. Did they seem to come from newer collections or were you picking out some ones that you just hadn't worn yet like I did? If you're new, think about hitting that little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And also remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at 
some beautiful polish and I will see you in that next one.